हेलो गाइस हाउ आर यू ऑल राइट अगेन मीटिंग यू आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम सो ओसामा शेख गुड इवनिंग ओसामा फन मोड गुड इवनिंग यश देसाई गुड इवनिंग एंड आनंद प्रकाश गुड इवनिंग आनंद हाउ आर यू ऑल राइट सो इज देर एनी वन टू ज्वाइन और शेल वी स्टार्ट थैंक यू यश हेलो दीक्षिता हाय राइट सो गुड इवनिंग सैम गुड इवनिंग सो न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट राइट न्यू सब्जेक्ट न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट राइट सो द सब्जेक्ट विच विल बी डिस्कसिंग टुडे इज कंप्लीटली पीडियाट्रिक्स ओके हाय दिव्या सो वी शैल बी डिस्कसिंग पीडियाट्रिक्स हाउ एवर राइट एंड वी शैल व्हाट आई प्लान इज we shall not directly dive into the topics and start discussing from the neonatology and all so what my plan is i would i wanted to start from the basic complete basic okay so right the day of fertilization from that time itself i wanted to start and teach the entire pediatrics completely conceptually so i hope uh, uh, you would like it sukhdev good evening sukhdev right so all of you all of you are having holidays now you are on holidays or the college is going on i hope uh, right now it is a vacation for all of you right yeah i know few of the students here who are having vacation janathan shankar good evening janathan so what are you doing in your holidays guys are you working hard yeah you are studying something daily or daily you are enjoying yes 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 this i definitely definitely i'll continue to teach those subjects as well okay good evening nagesh saini good evening good evening saini Ah, uh, you are preparing for FMGE. Very good, very good. So when you are preparing for FMGE, one thing I am telling you that you have less time, right? I don't recommend you to study each subject detailly. Okay, study only those things which are very important for you. Okay, very important for you. Good evening, good evening. All right, guys. So shall we start now? Shall we start? you see the baby is sleeping here before the baby wakes up we'll finish up all the topics okay so our topics of discussion would be normal growth and its disorders now before before i start on with this topic right guys are you all ready you're all ready right nitesh yes yeah let me have a green signal and then i'll start yeah done so so let us start guys let us start now now in this one one and a half hour of our time right we shall discuss as many things are possible i'll discuss how to calculate the weight height head and chest circumference right so let us not directly go into the formulas so directly when you'll go to the formulas when you are preparing for an exam right so right now you have to know all the basics so we shall discuss everything with the concepts okay but anyways i'll try to give you formulas also so we'll apply that also we'll do some mathematics also everything right so hi hi ina singh right so regarding the normal growth and development one very important thing i want to tell you is that great scientists find great people right who are giving more contribution yes or no so this can be a statement or a quote for you right but for all of us it has to be like a mnemonic okay so what is a mnemonic guys the mnemonic which i am going to tell you in the starting of the topic and i'll tell you how to apply it as well so great scientists find great people 
हु मेक मार्वलस थिंग्स हु मेक मार्वलस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन मेक मार्वलस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन राइट आई डोंट थिंक सो दिस इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू रिमेम्बर एक्चुअली वाई डिड आई राइट दिस यू नो दिस इज ए निमोनिक फॉर वॉट आर द फैक्टर्स दट आर एफेक्टिंग द ग्रोथ okay so first of all we shall start on discussing and and again one request is that i want all of you to be active in the session okay i want all of you to be active in the session hi geeta right so let us discuss what are the factors that are affecting the growth okay what are the factors that are affecting the growth now all of you know guys when i tell great g stands for the first factor what will be the first factor tell me everyone know in every pathology the first factor is always and always genetic right so the first factor is nothing but genetic potential genetic potential second important thing when it comes to the second important thing scientist yes s stands for sex sex also plays a very important role in affecting the growth oh wala sex nahi sex matlab male and female differentiation okay during the time of birth okay during the time of birth the boys are taller and heavier in comparison with the girls okay so again i'm telling during the time of the birth at the time of the birth the boys are taller and heavier in comparison with the girls coming to the third important thing is great scientists find f stands for what from here the real topic starts that is fetal hormones fetal hormones now guys tell me what are the fetal hormones which are responsible for the growth very fastly yes what are the fetal hormones which are responsible for the growth whatever you know just tell me whatever you know i know three hormones okay let us see how many hormones you know so the fetal hormones the the fetal fetal hormones fetal hormones which are responsible for the growth i'm talking about the growth okay right anyways there are three fetal hormones that are very important for the growth okay so one of this fetal hormone one is called as thyroxin another one is called as insulin or tisra a glucocorticoids okay thyroxin insulin and glucocorticoids out of these three thyroxin and insulin are responsible for the growth of the fetus okay for the growth of the fetus and glucocorticoids are responsible for the maturation for the maturation of what maturation of the organs okay so there are three important hormones very good very good pilot sign very good three important hormones one is your thyroxin okay another one is your insulin and third one is your glucocorticoids glucocorticoids matlab your cortisol the steroids right so thyroxin and insulin are responsible for the growth of the fetus they are responsible for the growth of the fetus whereas glucocorticoids are responsible for organ maturation organ maturation organ maturation ठीक है, सो थ्री थिंग्स सो फार वी डिस्कस जेनेटिक पोटेंशियल सेक्स और फीटल हार्मोन्स और फोर्थ इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग जी स्टैंड फॉर वॉट वॉट इज जी स्टैंड फॉर गाइस जी स्टैंड फॉर ग्रोथ फैक्टर्स ग्रोथ फैक्टर्स प्ले रियली रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल ग्रोथ फैक्टर्स I will I will write down the list of growth factors. Okay, if you want to remember, you remember. Or else, no. Why? Because as we will be discussing all the pediatrics, you will listen to you will come across a number of growth factors. Even in path pathology, physiology, also you will come across a number of growth factors. Okay, but if you want to remember the growth factors, right? At a time, the simple method is remember like this. You know, you eat to grow. Obviously, so I eat. tasty pizza i eat tasty pizza right now what does i stand for i stands for insulin like growth factor 1 and insulin like growth factor 2 insulin like growth factor 2 okay so these are the two growth factors and you know? i hope you know this next e stands for what can anyone tell what does e stand for e stands for which growth factor 
very good very good e stands for epidermal growth factor e stands for what epidermal growth factor epidermal growth factor next third important thing t stands for what t stands for transforming growth factor tgf tgf matlab kya transforming growth factor transforming growth factor right ab ye dekho there are two transforming growth factors theek hai one is called transforming growth factor alpha and the other one is called as transforming growth factor beta ab difference kya hai transforming growth factor alpha promotes the growth whereas transforming growth factor beta is an inhibitory growth factor theek hai that is an inhibitory growth factor and this one this one the alpha one it promotes the growth ठीक है, सो ऑल ऑफ यू इफ यू आर राइटिंग नोट्स है ना ब्रैकेट में ये भी लिख लो कि ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग ग्रोथ फैक्टर बीटा जो है दैट विल दैट इज कॉल्ड एज एन इनहिबिटरी ग्रोथ फैक्टर ठीक है नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द फोर्थ इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग टेस्टी पिज्जा पिज्जा स्टैंड फॉर पी डी जी एफ प्लेटलेट डिराइव्ड ग्रोथ फैक्टर राइट प्लेटलेट derived growth factor so these are some of the growth actually there are much more growth factors like fibroblast growth factor and all but these are some of the four important growth factors which you need to know okay so what are those guys uh insulin like growth factor epidermal growth factor transforming as well as platelet derived growth factor so i hope i hope till here all of you are clear actually this is all the part which you have to just remember it i don't think so it is difficult for you to remember it okay next we have got p and m what does p and m stand for p stands for placental factors m stand for maternal factors so kya hai ye placental factors or maternal factors and how are they affecting the growth okay so fifth important thing is placental factors can anyone tell me what is that can anyone tell me one important placental factor which affects the growth yeah one important placental factor which affects the growth you tell me you give me the example in the comment by that time i'll write the heading as maternal factors also jaldi fatafat jaldi batao what are the placental factors yes Praveen Kumar, Nagesh, Saini, Anand Prakash, Divya Bharti, what happened? Right. Any okay, fine, no problem. Let me tell you what are the placental factors, right? Now all of you just look at this picture over here. Uh, let us say this this is the developing fetus, right? Now this is the uterus. now within this uterus let us say that here we have got our fetus okay this is this is our fetus this is our fetus which is developing right and all of you know all of you know that here we have got placenta this is called as placenta and placenta is attached to the fetus all of you know that है ना एंड नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग यू शुड नो दैट प्लासेंटे के अंदर जो वेजल्स है ना दीज आर कॉल्ड एस प्लासेंटल वेजल्स यस और नो सो दिस इज जस्ट अ रफ पिक्चर ऑफ द प्लासेंटल वेजल्स नाउ हाउ डस प्लासेंटा हेल्प इन द ग्रोथ राइट दे डिटरमाइन द ग्रोथ इज दैट फॉर एग्जांपल इफ देयर इज सम थ्रोम्बस विद इन द प्लासेंटा ठीक है व्हाई शुड बी देयर अ थ्रोम्बस विद इन द प्लासेंटा फॉर एग्जांपल मदर इज डायबिटिक ठीक है अगर मदर डायबिटिक है तो क्या होगा the blood glucose levels will increase you know whenever the blood glucose levels increase there is a high chance of blood clots forming in the body right so hyperglycemia is a hypercoagulability state yes or no so blood clots jab form ho jayega na these blood clots when they enter into the placental vessels they obstruct the placental vessels agar placental vessels ko obstruct kiya do you think sufficient amount of oxygen and nutrients will be supplied for the baby no so here placental factors one of the placental factor is playing a role in the development of the baby yes or no so later on as we will be discussing we shall discuss much more factors okay but for now this is the one thing you have to know as this is just an introduction whatever i am telling 
नाउ व्हेन इट कम्स टू मेटरनल फैक्टर्स ठीक है द फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट मेटरनल फैक्टर इज न्यूट्रिय सप्लाई इज न्यूट्रिय सप्लाई For example, if mother is not taking enough amount of nutrients, do you think enough amount of nutrients will be supplied to the fetus? No. If they are not supplied to the fetus, obviously there will be growth retardation. Second important thing, जो है advanced maternal age. Can anyone tell advanced maternal age? मतलब क्या? What is the uh, number of advanced maternal age? Yeah. Come on, guys. I want you to comment actively, involve in the class. By the time if this was anatomy or micro session, I don't know. People used to keep on commenting, keep on commenting. Now, why are you not commenting for pediatrics? I don't know. Yeah. Not above 42, not above 32, not above 40. Very good, yes. Very good, Vikas. Vikas Jadav, very good. More than or equal to 35 years or more than 35 years, right? So that is called as advanced maternal age. At that age, if mother, at that age, if a woman, wants to conceive right if she wants a baby then the baby is at a higher risk of what the mother is at a higher risk of giving birth to a premature baby or a preterm baby okay so second important risk factor is advanced maternal age advanced maternal age advanced maternal age is more than or equal to 35 years okay now, third important thing is multiple previous gestations. Multiple previous gestations, matlab, can anyone? Multiple, multiple previous gestations. Multiple previous gestations. What do you mean by multiple previous gestations? Gestations of more than five. Okay? If a woman, she already had more than five pregnancies in a history, right and now she wants a sixth baby so it means she is under a high risk of delivering to an abnormal baby which means a preterm infant okay more than five more than five because right actually i when i was working in the hospital when i was working in the hospital i came across a case right so i was observing a woman and she it was her fifth delivery and it was her fifth delivery and I asked her why you need five babies. Now she told that she loves children, right? Now I called her husband, right? Along with the children and there were four children. Four of them were girls. That is the main reason. Abhi, uska age deko. One, two, three, four. You know? Matlab, he did not rest. Even she did not rest these four years. You know? And what does he do? He's an auto driver. So he, he bought an auto to take his own children anywhere he wanted to go so that is a thing so multiple obviously the fifth child who was born also is a girl right now fourth important thing fourth important thing is anemia right anemia is one of the maternal factor yes or no fifth important thing is hypertension one is called as hypertension can anyone tell what is the name given for hypertension in pregnancy yeah Hypertension of the pregnancy. Guys, we are discussing complete basics. Complete basics. Very good, Varun. Very good, Varun. Very good. Preeclampsia, right? So, pregnancy induced hypertension is nothing but called as preeclampsia. So, the basic definition, if you want to remain, anyways, in the OBG where they'll teach you. Definition is blood pressure more than 140 by 90 on two separate occasions. Okay. This is one definition or blood pressure more than 160 by 110 along with proteinuria. This is also called as preeclampsia. But whatever it is, now what you need to remember is uh, hypertension during pregnancy is also a very important risk factor which affects the growth of the baby. Right. Now, sixth important thing. Sixth important thing is infections. Obviously, infections play a very important role. So, very good, fun mode, very good, Anjana, very good. So, overall, what I'm telling you guys, there are two important factors, placental as well as maternal factors. In maternal factors, you have got nutrient supply, advanced maternal age, multiple previous gestations, anemia, hypertension, as well as infections, right? Now, 
Yeah, very good, Saini. Saini is telling torch infections. Very good. Yes, torch infections. Okay. Now, after that, the next important thing we shall discuss is what is that? Chromosomes. Right? The next important dis discussion we'll have about chromosomes. Now, all of you know this thing that chromosomes also affect a very important role. They play a very important role. Right? So, chromosomes also affect and play a very important role. So, all of you know there are some chromosomal disorders. All of you know about Turner syndrome, all of you know about Klinefelter syndrome, Down syndrome. You know? Abhi fourth one is there, there is something called as Sotos syndrome. I'll tell you what is that. Okay? But ye teen to pata hai na ko. Right? So Klinefelter, Downs as well as Turner syndrome. Right? So in this also there is alteration in the growth. For example, for example, if you take Turner syndrome as well as Down syndrome, Turner syndrome as well as Down syndrome. In this, the growth will be inhibited or there is growth promotion. What will be there? Is there inhibition of growth? Is there a short stature or a long stature, tall stature? In Turner syndrome and in Down syndrome, you would see short stature. Very good. Short stature. Okay. Short stature. Next important thing is in Klinefelter syndrome as well as Soto syndrome. Okay, Klinefelter syndrome or Soto syndrome, there will be tall stature, tall stature, whatever it is, chromosomal abnormalities are affecting the growth or no, that is the basic point which we need, you know? or to this list, you know? to this list, we shall also add one more important thing that is very good, all of you are answering right, perfect, Soto syndrome, you know? what is Soto syndrome is, there is a gene called NSD1, okay, ये जीन कहां पे होगा क्रोमोसोम 5 पे होगा सो व्हेन दिस जीन गेट्स म्यूटेटेड इन द स्टार्टिंग स्टेजेस ऑफ लाइफ ओनली दे विल ग्रो मोर टॉल ओके द फेस आल्सो ग्रोस टॉल सो द फेस इज एलोंगेटेड इन दिस वे राइट सो दैट इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द टॉल स्टेजेस सो व्हाट आई वाज टेलिंग इन सोटोस क्रोमोसोम 5 है और विद इन द क्रोमोसोम 5 देयर इज अ जीन कॉल्ड NSD1 सो दिस जीन गेट्स म्यूटेटेड Okay, and that would lead to a stall stature. And, and another, uh, Anand Prakash, uh, there are torch infections in microbiology you will study. There are group of torch infections, right? T stands for toxoplasma, O stands for other infections, right? So, there, yeah, already Baljinder Kesai has already commented. So, it is actually a mnemonic. Okay, torch infection, jo, torch jo hai, wo mnemonic hai, Anand. So, every letter indicates one bacteria or let us say one virus also. Okay. Right. So, next important thing is the nutrition. The last important thing is nutrition. And obviously, all of you know, very important thing about the nutrition. Right. So, overall guys, once just revise whatever we have discussed. Okay. What are the factors that are affecting the growth? The first important factor is genetic factor. Uske baad sex affects the growth. Chromosomal disorders also affect the growth, right? Maternal factors and placental factors also affect the growth as well as the hormones also. We discussed three hormones, thyroxine, insulin and glucocorticoids, right? So just remember it as GIT, GIT, glucocorticoids, insulin and thyroxine. Out of this, pehla do, jo hai, they are responsible for the growth of the fetus and glucocorticoids are responsible for the organ maturation, okay? So, we have discussed all the important points here regarding the factors that are affecting the growth. This is some of the things that are basic which you have to know. Now, if we enter into the topic, if we enter into the topic, we will discuss what are the periods of growth. Okay? We shall discuss what are the periods of growth. Now, regarding the periods of growth, what periods do you know guys? Tell me. Yes, Baljinder, Anand Prakash, Pushpalata, what are the periods do you know? Saini, Anjana, Nagesh, Vikas, tell me what are the periods which you know? 
सी देर आर बेसिकली फोर इंपॉर्टेंट पीरियड्स ऑफ ग्रोथ ठीक है ना आउट ऑफ दिस फोर इंपॉर्टेंट पीरियड्स ऑफ ग्रोथ वी शेल रिमूव द लास्ट वन आई डिस्कस अबाउट इट लेटर ऑन सो ओवरऑल वी हैव गॉट थ्री ठीक है वन पीरियड इज वन पीरियड इज द पीरियड दैट इज प्रेजेंट बिफोर द बर्थ राइट एंड वन पीरियड इज आफ्टर द बर्थ एंड वन पीरियड इज ड्यूरिंग द बर्थ ठीक है वन पीरियड विच इज बिफोर द बर्थ इज कॉल्ड एज प्री प्री नेटल पीरियड वन पीरियड विच इज आफ्टर द बर्थ इज कॉल्ड पोस्ट नेटल पीरियड एंड वन पीरियड विच इज अराउंड द टाइम ऑफ द बर्थ अराउंड द टाइम ऑफ द बर्थ और नियर टू द बर्थ दैट इज कॉल्ड एज पेरी नेटल पेरी मतलब अराउंड द टाइम ऑफ द बर्थ पेरी नेटल पीरियड और फोर्थ वाला क्या है सर दैट फोर्थ इज कॉल्ड एज एडोलसेंट पीरियड okay so how many periods we have got we have got four important periods we have got four important periods one is called as prenatal period you know uske baad kaun sa hoga perinatal period you know uske baad postnatal period and finally in the list there is adolescence finally in the list there is adolescence very good baljinder kesai very good he is answering perfectly very good pushpalata very good you are also right embryonic fetal growth i will discuss about that right but anyways very good that you know about embryonic and fetal very good right now what we shall do is that we shall discuss what is prenatal uske baad what is perinatal postnatal and adolescence okay now this is something very important for your exams guys everyone have to remember what is prenatal period till from what which week till which week this prenatal period is there and everything all of these values you have to remember okay now prenatal period is the period that is present before the birth before the birth matlab the entire stages of pregnancy whatever is there this 9 months right or 42 weeks right so this entire weeks of pregnancy whatever is there this is a prenatal period okay this is what a prenatal period now in this prenatal period we have to write all the way from conception till birth okay i hope all of you know what is conception very good anjana from conception till birth is called as prenatal period now what we will do is that we will just elaborate it little bit okay conception kya hoga what is birth what is in between we shall elaborate a little bit ye dekho for example let us say fertilization took place fertilization took place okay from the day of fertilization till 2 weeks 2 weeks matlab kitna 14 days hai na from the day of fertilization till 2 weeks this period of prenatal growth perinatal period you call it as germinal stage you call it as germinal stage okay next important thing is from 2 weeks till 8 weeks from 2 weeks till 8 weeks ye jo hai na this is called as embryonic stage what is this called embryonic stage embryonic stage theek hai aur 8 9 weeks se lekar till the birth okay from 8 9 weeks till the birth this is called as a fetus so from now onwards whenever i ask you what is fetus right all of you are understanding very good very good very good anut chandran very good so from now onwards if i ask you what is fetus you should tell from 8 weeks all the way till the birth right in some of the books it is given from 9 weeks till the birth is called as a fetus so fertilization se lekar birth tak this entire period whatever i have discussed is the prenatal period in the, within this there are three stages germinal stage embryonic stage and fetal stage okay so till here all of you understood guys everyone understood till here perfectly clear everyone saini understood very good and remaining very good very good yeah now let us let us continue guys okay let us continue what we shall do is that abhi tak jo discuss kiya na we shall little bit elaborate it and see if there are any periods that are hidden inside okay so pehle kahan se shuru karenge fertilization se so we shall start from fertilization fertilization okay so from fertilization till 2 weeks we just discussed 2 weeks se lekar 8 weeks we just discussed okay 8 weeks se lekar now what i'm doing is that from 8 weeks till 12 weeks from 12 weeks till 16 weeks right 
सर हाउ आर यू टेलिंग मी द नंबर्स रैंडमली कुछ भी लगा रहा हूं मैं रैंडम नंबर्स एम पुटिंग फ्रॉम सिक्सटीन टिल ट्वेंटी वीक्स फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी टिल थर्टी थर्टी से लेकर फोर्टी है ना एंड फाइनली टूडे आई मीन फाइनली आफ्टर द फोर्टी फोर्टी टू वीक्स द बेबी इज बॉर्न सो द डे द बेबी इज बॉर्न इज कॉल्ड एज डे जीरो ठीक है डे जीरो डे जीरो के बाद क्या होगा डे वन ये सो नो उसके बाद क्या होगा डे टू एंड फाइनली एम राइटिंग इट एज डे सेवन ठीक है डे सेवन सो हाउ डिड आई टेक दिस नंबर इज एट मैंने पहले ही बोला था दीज नंबर आर रैंडम ठीक है नाउ यू विल टेल मी वॉट इज द पीरियड फ्रॉम फर्टिलाइजेशन टिल टू वीक्स बताओ फर्टिलाइजेशन से लेकर टू वीक्स तक जस्ट नाउ आई टोल्ड यू फ्रॉम फर्टिलाइजेशन टिल टू वीक्स इज कॉल्ड एज जर्माइनल स्टेज जर्माइनल स्टेज जर्मिनल स्टेज इज फर्टिलाइजेशन से लेकर टू वीक्स तक नहीं नहीं बलजिंदर नॉट नियोनेट मैं नियोनेट के बारे में बताऊंगा अभी ठीक है नियोनेट इज लेटर ऑन टू वीक्स फ्रॉम टू वीक्स टिल एट वीक्स दैट इज कॉल्ड एज एम्ब्रियोनिक स्टेज एम्ब्रियोनिक स्टेज ठीक है एंड वॉट डिड आई टेल यू ऑल द वे ऑल द वे फ्रॉम एट वीक्स टिल बर्थ ऑल द वे फ्रॉम एट वीक्स टिल बर्थ मतलब डे जीरो This is called as fetus. This is called as fetus. ठीक है Now, ah, okay, 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 okay. Baljinder, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. So now, what I'm telling you is that within this, there is one more peri period that is hidden. ये देखो. From twenty weeks, ठीक है? From twenty weeks of gestation all the way till seven days after the birth. ठीक है फिर से बोल रहा हूं फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी वीक्स ऑफ गेस्टेशन टिल सेवन डेज आफ्टर द बर्थ ये जो पीरियड है ना राइट दिस इज कॉल्ड एज पेरीनेटल पीरियड पेरीनेटल पीरियड ठीक है टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज पेरीनेटल पीरियड आई हैव रिटन ऑल दिस थिंग्स ठीक है सो कैन आई टेल पेरीनेटल पीरियड इज बिफोर ए लिटिल पार्ट बिफोर द डिलीवरी लिटिल पार्ट आफ्टर द डिलीवरी ऑल्सो ये सो नो so this is perinatal period from 20 weeks of gestation till 7 days after the birth is called as perinatal period so yahan tak i hope all of you understood right and next important thing and ne very good fatia fatima fatima kabir very good now what is you discussed what is prenatal hai na prenatal matlab what is prenatal Till birth you called it as prenatal. You discuss what is perinatal. So postnatal क्या है? What is postnatal? Postnatal is all the way from day zero. Day zero से लेकर जो भी है ना the moment once the baby is born from today the postnatal life is starting. Okay? So can I tell postnatal life starts from day zero? है ना? So postnatal the last period is postnatal period. postnatal period all the way it starts from day 0 till how many days till 28 days okay uh, sorry i'm i'm really sorry from day 0 from day 0 the entire uh, growth is called as a postnatal right and obviously some of them are telling to write it down so all of you look here uh, the perinatal is very important guys because during the perinatal time only many pathologies come inside From twenty weeks of gestation till seven days after birth, okay. From twenty weeks till seven days after the birth, you call it as perinatal period, okay. So postnatal is completely after the birth, after the birth, right? Sir, in a prenatal, you told germinal stage. There is something called as embryonic stage. There is something called as fetal stage, है ना? In the same way, in postnatal period, are there any stages? Yes. What are the stages in postnatal period? In postnatal period, the stages how you remember are like this. All of you know NIT, National Institute of Technology, right? So engineers they love to go to NIT because the future there is very good, है ना? So they gonna tell you NIT में पढ़ेंगे. एनआईटी में पढ़ेंगे नो वॉट इज एन एन स्टैंड फॉर नियोनेट एन स्टैंड फॉर नियोनेट नियोनेट के बाद क्या आएगा आई वॉट इज आई स्टैंड फॉर वेरी गुड आई स्टैंड फॉर इन्फेंट वेरी गुड स्नेहा आई स्टैंड फॉर इन्फेंट वेरी गुड बलजिंदर 
नेक्स्ट एन आई टी टी स्टैंड फॉर वॉट टी स्टैंड फॉर टॉडलर ठीक है टॉडलर टॉडलर के बाद क्या आएगा एन आई टी में पढ़ेंगे पी पी स्टैंड फॉर प्री स्कूलर एवरी वन इज आंसरिंग वेल गाइज आई एम रियली हैप्पी परफेक्ट स्नेहा परफेक्ट फन मोड फातिमा वेरी गुड बलजिंदर वेरी गुड सो प्री स्कूलर ठीक है प्री स्कूलर के बाद क्या होगा स्कूलर प्री स्कूलर के बाद क्या होगा स्कूलर राइट नाउ लुक हियर लेट अस डिस्कस द टाइम पीरियड्स इन बिटवीन दिस नाउ रिगार्डिंग दिस टाइम पीरियड्स व्हाट डू यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम डे जीरो द पोस्ट नेटल पीरियड विल स्टार्ट ठीक है पोस्ट नेटल पीरियड में नियोनेट इन्फेंट टॉर्डलर प्री स्कूल एंड स्कूल आर देर नाउ फ्रॉम डे जीरो टिल ट्वेंटी डेज ये जो है ना दिस इज कॉल्ड एज नियो लाइफ नियोनेटल पीरियड ठीक है नियोनेटल पीरियड नाउ दिस नियोनेटल पीरियड एम डिवाइडिंग इन टू टू वॉट इज दू जीरो से लेकर सेवन डेज तक और सेवन से लेकर ट्वेंटी एट डेज तक ओके फ्रॉम जीरो टू सेवन वॉट एवर इट इज देयर दिस इज द एर्ली पार्ट ऑफ नियोनेट सो यू कॉल्ड एज एर्ली नियोनेटल लाइफ और सेवन टू ट्वेंटी एट डेज जो है वो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज लेट नियोनेटल लाइफ ठीक है सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज एन एर्ली नियोनेट एर्ली नियोनेट और ये जो होगा दिस इज कॉल्ड एज लेट नियोनेट ठीक है सो ओवरऑल हियर ऑल्सो एम राइटिंग नियोनेट मतलब जीरो टू ट्वेंटी एट डेज ट्वेंटी एट डेज ठीक है देन इन्फेंट क्या होगा वॉट इज इन्फेंट इन्फेंट शुड स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द एंड ऑफ नियोनेटल लाइफ मतलब ट्वेंटी एट सो ट्वेंटी एट डेज से लेकर एक साल तक वन ईयर दिस इज कॉल्ड एज एन इन्फेंट ओके नेक्स्ट टॉडलर वन ईयर से लेकर थ्री इयर्स तक यू कॉल इट एज ए टॉडलर यू कॉल इट एज ए टॉडलर नेक्स्ट प्री स्कूलर इज थ्री थ्री से लेकर सिक्स इयर्स तक फ्रॉम थ्री इयर्स ऑल द वे टिल सिक्स इयर्स यू कॉल इट एज ए प्री स्कूलर राइट वेरी गुड मोहम्मद आसिफ मिराकल्स वर्ल्ड वेरी गुड वेरी गुड परफेक्ट हरिनी वेरी गुड Next, from six years till twelve years, you call this period as schooler. Okay, you call this period as schooler. So all of you understood what is postnatal period now. Within this postnatal period, just roughly discuss within this postnatal period. क्या क्या चीजें हम discuss किया? NIT में पढ़ेंगे. N neonate, infant, toddler पढ़ेंगे. P preschooler उसके बाद schooler. Zero to twenty eight days. Twenty eight days to one year. राइट नेक्स्ट वन ईयर टू थ्री इयर्स उसके बाद थ्री टू सिक्स अगेन सिक्स टू ट्वेल्व क्लियर ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज ऑल वी डिस्कस सो नाउ यू नो ए कंप्लीट पिक्चर ऑफ व्हाट इज प्री नेटल प्री नेटल में क्या क्या स्टेजेस है व्हाट इज पेरी नेटल कहां से कहा तक व्हाट इज पोस्ट नेटल इसमें भी व्हाट आर द स्टेजेस राइट सो दिस थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स वी फिनिश नाउ वी विल एंटर इन द फोर्थ स्टेज वो फोर्थ स्टेज क्या होगा Adolescent that is called as adolescence. That is called as adolescence. Okay. Now within this adolescence, you should know adolescence is an age group of ten. Very good, very good. Anut Chandran, very good. Fatima, Sneha, very good. Sajda, very good. Fun mode ten to nineteen, ठीक है, but uh, one number more ten to twenty years of age, ठीक है, twenty to twenty years of age is called as an adolescent. Ten to twenty years of age is called as an adolescent, ठीक है. Now within this adolescent age, there are three subdivisions. Obviously, three subdivisions क्या होगा बताओ? एक होगा early, एक होगा late, और बीच में जो होगा that is middle. Yes or no? So This adolescent age is also divided into early adolescent. उसके बाद होगा late adolescent और बीच में जो है that is called as middle adolescent age. Okay? What is early adolescent age? It should start from टेन है ना टेन to थर्टीन years is called as early adolescent. ठीक है फिर फोर्टीन years से लेकर सिक्सटीन years is called as middle adolescent. And 17 से लेकर 20 years is called as late adolescent. So all the values are perfectly fitting here, right? So all of you understood. All of you understood the periods of growth. Now we shall discuss 
the growth of different tissues from here the topics going to be little bit interesting i am really sorry if till here this is all the numerical part so it might be little bit boring for you right but all of you understood right very good very good so we discussed all the way starting from fertilization till 20 years of age okay so we did not miss a single value also everything whatever is there that is very important for you now guys you are really answering perfectly you already had pediatrics all of you saini fatima yash vikas right and baljinder all of you are answering perfectly you already had pediatrics Hazaki, you already had here, right? Very good, very good, very good, very good. Oh, you're all graduated. Very nice. Right, cello. Now we shall discuss. Now we shall discuss. So if some of you are graduated, if some of you are graduated, then you might know the real uh, troubles you would have faced with the children in the clinics. Right? They don't sleep and they don't make you to sleep. Very good, Saini. Very good. Excellent. Saini got selected in Ames Raipur. Very good, Saini. Very good. Very good, Asif. Right. So now we shall discuss about the growth of different tissues. Okay. We shall discuss about the growth of different tissues. Okay. Growth of different tissues. The main issues which we shall be discussing is okay Fatima your second year but still you are answering this is really great and really happy so growth of different tissues there are three main tissues okay one is brain tissue we will discuss it later after that there will be lymphoid and gonadal tissue okay so we shall mainly discuss about the brain tissue okay and second important thing is lymphoidal tissue lymphoidal tissue very good namnath you are practicing in the hospital in the pediatrics ward and third important thing is the gonadal tissue gonadal tissue okay brain lymphoidal as well as gonadal tissue now we shall discuss about each and every part of this okay how the growth is taking place now all of you should pay attention because most of the clinical questions will be asked now just look at the picture so this is a graph. This is a graph. Yes, Akash, pediatrics part one. This is a graph. And in this graph, what we shall do is that we shall write down the ages. Two sal, four sal, eight sal, ten and twelve. So these are the years, age. I have written the age in years. Okay. Now I will draw a graph and you will tell me what is that. Okay. You will tell me what is that. Now, from here, from here, if I'm drawing this graph all the way like this, you know, just plot this graph, guys, plot this graph. Where is the maximum peak taking place? The maximum peak is taking place almost near two years of age. You know, the maximum peak has taken place during the fetal life, the first year of life till second year of life. Second year, ke baad se, the graph is completely constant. Yes or no? You know? So what is this that is growing so fastly during the fetal and the first two years of life? That is your brain. Okay, Brain development happens very fastly during the fetal life as well as the first two years of life. Okay, So brain development. So brain development, very good, brain tissue brain tissue the maximum development happens in the fetal phase fetal phase plus the first two years of life first two years of life fetal phase and first two years of life so during this time the brain development takes place okay so why are you telling this why am i telling you this is that you know for the growth and development of the baby you need sufficient amount of thyroid hormone thyroxine you know thyroid hormone in the initial stages it will it is responsible for the growth and development of the baby not only the physical growth mental growth be you know? so during this time if mother during the fetal life if mother is not having hypothyroid 
right? If she's supplying sufficient amount of thyroid hormone to the baby, and after the birth also, if baby is receiving sufficient amount of thyroid hormone, in the first two years of life, the growth and development, the physical growth and the mental growth will be very good. You know? So that is the reason why the brain development is taking place in the first few years of the life. Okay? Now all of you understood this. Now the second important development, second important development, they go. So in the list we have completed brain. Abhi second hoga lymphoid. Lymphoid may be same. We will write the same things. Yeah, pe two years, three, uh, four years. Uh, let us say six years, let us say eight years, ten years. Okay. Again, these are the ages which have written in years. Ages which have written in years. Now look at the development here. Here they go. From here, the graph has taken a swipe, right? And again, it is falling back like this. Okay. Now, if you look at the ages, at which age the growth is maximum, guys? If you plot the graph, here they go. The growth is at the peak. The growth is at the peak in between 4 to 8 years of age. Matlab, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that is during this 4 to 8 years of age, the lymphoidal growth will be maximum. You know? During this time, you can you normally palpate your lymph nodes? No. Unless and until they are swollen. Yes or no? But during this 4 to 8 years of age, the tonsils will be enlarged. Right? The lymph nodes will be palpated. Now that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that the patient is having problem with the lymph nodes, lymphadenitis, right? Or patient is having problem with the tonsils, that is tonsillitis. Ye normal is age mein, right? Later on, the size again reduces. Okay? So during 4 to 8 weeks, uh, sorry, during 4 to 8 years, maximum gonadal development happens. Ah, sorry, this is lymphoidal, right? Ah, lymphoidal development happens. And uh, Sajda Tabasam is telling that uh, iske baad gonadal development hoga. Very good, very good. From 10 years onwards, the gonadal development will start. Okay? So let us discuss that now. So this is the graph. Again, fir se likhenge 2. 4, 8, 10 or 12. Yeah, dekho. Initially, the baby is born immediately, right? Is he ready for fertilization? No. The gonads are not developed, right? So, slowly the gonads start developing. Yeah, dekho. After 8, 9 years and 10 years, 10, 11, 12 years onwards, there is perfect development. If you can plot the graph like this, fir se dekho. this is the perfect development here. Right? So, around 8, 9, 10, 10 to 12. So, in boys, the uh, maturation process is different and in girl, girls also, the gonadal development is different. Okay. We shall discuss in the puberty there, not now. Okay. So, till here, all of you understood the three developments. Everyone, before I go and discuss the most important part of this session, that is growth parameters, how to calculate height, weight, head and chest circumference. Right? So, till here, all of you understood, guys. Once I get a sufficient amount of green signal, right? Then I'll start. Till then, have a cup of tea. No, I will have a cup of tea. Now, you guys don't go leaving the session for a cup of tea, okay? Chalo. Right. Okay, give me the list of growth parameters which you know guys. What are the growth parameters? Ritvika, Ritvika, Baljinder, Pratik, Saini, all those who are commenting, you should also tell me what are the growth parameters that we should discuss now. Growth parameters. Batao, what are the growth parameters? We do growth parameters for growth assessment, hai na? For growth assessment. Very good. Fun mode is telling weight, height, body proportion. Very good. Or, or batao, height, weight, very good. Sirf weight, height hi nahi. Even circumference is also important. BMI is also important. Everything is important. 
Yes has given a very good list. Length for height, for age, weight for length, body mass, very good, yes, very good. Right. Uh, Anuradha is telling MUAC, mid upper arm circumference, very good, very good. Chest and head circumference, miracles world, very good. Anthropometric, ha, very good, Sundare, this is all the anthropometric, right? So let us discuss now. The first important thing we shall discuss is weight. Okay. After the weight, then we shall go for stature. Okay. Stature kya hoga? Stature matlab both height and length is called as stature. Okay. Height or length together ko stature bolte. And third important thing is we will discuss about the circumference also. Circumference also. So what circumferences we will discuss? We will discuss circumferences of head. We will discuss circumferences of chest. We will also discuss circumference of the middle, middle part of the arm called as mid arm circumference. Take mid arm circumference. Iske baad aayega fourth important thing BMI. What is BMI? BMI kya hoga? Body mass index. And fifth important thing already you are answering very good yes. Skin fold thickness. Skin fold thickness okay skin fold thickness so these are the five important parameters we shall be discussing okay if you are already writing the notes if you're not writing the notes i want you to write the notes for now guys what important hai ye, hai na? these calculations are very important coming to the weight okay now when it comes to the weight when it comes to the weight the average weight right the average weight the normal weight of a newborn baby will be around, batao, will be around 1.5, will be around, no, very good, very good, 2.9, 2.5, very good. So, it ranges in between 2.9 kgs to 3.9 kgs, okay, ye normal weight hai. So, baby will lie in between this, but a typical Indian baby, a typical Indian Indian baby ka weight hoga 2.5 kg se lekar 4 kg tak hai na 2.5 kg se lekar 4 kg tak right so this is a weight of a typical Indian baby now can I tell 2.5 kg is a lower range hai, right anything before 2.5 kg is called low birth weight right so what I'm telling you is Anything less than 2.5 kg, is 2,500 grams. And I, anything below that is called as low birth weight. Anything is called as low birth weight. Anything is below this is called as low birth weight. Now, anything below 2,500 grams is called low birth weight. Matlab, from 1,000 grams till 1,499 grams. So, anything in between is called as very low birth weight very low birth weight very low birth weight okay or least limit kya hai thousand anything below thousand is called extremely low birth weight hai na? anything below thousand grams is called as extremely low birth weight extremely low birth weight very good anut very good extremely low birth weight so these are the three important parameters i want you to know i mean these three important uh, uh, things in this parameter of weight i want you to know okay so what is low birth weight what is very low birth weight what is extremely low birth weight i want you to know so i hope you are clear till here anand you are clear right you are understanding anand you are second year now you are understanding all these things very good anand Right. Now, actually guys, low birth weight hone ka karan kya hai? What can be the reason of low birth weight? There are many reasons of low birth weight, but I'll just tell you two important reasons. Okay? Baad mein we'll discuss in detail. What are those two important reasons, sir? One is intrauterine growth retardation. As the baby is developing within the uterus, if the growth is retarded, kyu? if you're not supplying sufficient nutrients, and Whatever it is, placental factors, maternal factors, mother is addicted to smoking, substance abuse and all. Jo bhi hai, intrauterine growth retardation. Ye ek ho sakta hai. Second important thing is, 
एर्ली टर्म इन्फेंट ठीक है नो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एर्ली टर्म इन्फेंट एर्ली टर्म इन्फेंट और दूसरा क्या होगा इंट्रा यूट्राइन ग्रोथ रिटार्डेशन आई मतलब इंट्रा यूट्राइन ग्रोथ रिटार्डेशन ठीक है नो वॉट इज एर्ली टर्म एर्ली टर्म क्या होता है नहीं एर्ली टर्म इज नॉट प्री टर्म एर्ली टर्म इज नॉट प्री टर्म सी सिंपल थिंग इज दैट ऑल ऑफ यू नो द बेबीज आर बॉर्न बिटवीन 37 टू 42 टू वीक्स इन बिटवीन दिस ओनली राइट बिटवीन 37 सेवन टू फोर्टी टू वीक्स ऑफ गेस्टेशन सो थर्टी सेवन से लेकर थर्टी एट थर्टी नाइन फोर्टी फोर्टी वन फोर्टी टू सो फ्रॉम थर्टी सेवन टिल फोर्टी टू इन बिटवीन दिस द बेबीज आर बॉर्न नाउ हियर यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग थर्टी सेवन टू थर्टी एट जो है ना ओके लीव दिस थिंग लेट मी टेल यू लाइक दिस थर्टी नाइन टू फोर्टी जो है ना दिस इज कॉल्ड एज ए टर्म इन फैंट दिस इज कॉल्ड एज ए टर्म इन फैंट थर्टी नाइन टू फोर्टी इज कॉल्ड टर्म इन फैंट सो टर्म इन फैंट से पहले मतलब थर्टी सेवन टू थर्टी एट है ना दिस इज कॉल्ड एज एर्ली टर्म एर्ली टर्म इन फैंट फोर्टी वन से लेकर फोर्टी टू है ना दिस इज कॉल्ड एज लेट टर्म इन फैंट लेट टर्म इन फैंट ठीक है और थर्टी सेवन वीक्स से पहले बिफोर थर्टी सेवन वीक्स दैट इज कॉल्ड प्री टर्म आफ्टर फोर्टी टू वीक्स दैट इज कॉल्ड पोस्ट टर्म नव यू अंडरस्टूड गाइज ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड नाउ सो इन द एंटायर टर्म वी हैव गॉट थ्री थिंग्स एर्ली टर्म फुल टर्म लेट टर्म ठीक है एनीथिंग बिफोर एर्ली टर्म इज कॉल्ड प्री टर्म मतलब थर्टी सेवन वीक्स से पहले Anything after the forty-two weeks is called as post-term. Now, now all of you understood, guys. Even if it was confusing before, now you understood this. Yeah, all of you understood, right? There is no confusion here, right? so don't think this early term as pre term okay pre term matlab before 37 ko pre term bolte after 42 ko post term bolte so it means ye yellow color mein main jo highlight kar raha hu na this entire thing is a term this entire thing is a term term ke pehle pre term term ke baad post term bas so this is what i'm talking and obviously most of you answered pre term infants will also have low birth weight exactly है ना बिफोर नॉर्मली दे हैव टू बी बॉर्न बिटवीन थर्टी नाइन फोर्टी थर्टी सेवन टू फोर्टी टू इससे पहले इफ दे आर बॉर्न दे द ऑर्गन राइट द लंग्स दे आर नॉट इनफली मेच्योर्ड द बॉडी वेट इज ऑल्सो नॉट इनफली गेन्ड सो ऑब्वियसली द बेबी हू इज डिलीवर्ड आउट राइट ही विल बी ऑफ लो बर्थ वेट ओनली वेरी गुड योर आंसर इज ऑल्सो राइट गाइज नाउ लेट अस डू सम कैलकुलेशन गाइज ऑल ऑफ यू गेट रेडी नाउ ठीक है Let us do some calculations. You know, you have heard of uh, five months for double yoga, or some other triple yoga, you know? It will become hundred percent, two hundred percent. So, what are all these things? Let us discuss each and everything in detail. Okay. Now, average I'm taking. Okay, average at the time of birth, baby ka weight kya hoga? Three kgs, roughly three kgs. Okay. Ab ye dekho. Pilot signy twin pregnancy also very good very good low birth weight yes you are right twin pregnancy also cause low birth weight not only twin pregnancy there is something called as uh, um, transfusion syndrome okay so one baby is transfusing a lot of uh, minerals and vitamins and oxygen and blood to another baby so one will be low birth weight one will be uh, birth weight will be more than four kgs okay so we shall discuss those in details later on okay so. At birth, the baby's weight is three kgs. Now let us concentrate on ca uh, calculations completely. Okay, the birth weight of baby is three kgs. Now within the next seven days, okay, let us say today the baby is born. Within the next seven days, the baby's weight will be lost. You know, कितना पता है? Around five to ten percent there is. Weight weight loss loss in in the 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 baby. Why there is weight loss in the baby? Why there there is 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 of of to 10%? Because Because after the birth, the baby baby excretes urine, right? There is some some loss loss fluid fluid. through that. Even the baby passes meconium, there is some loss of fluid. So obviously the baby's weight also will be reduced just फाइव to टेन परसेंट ठीक है अगेन अगेन बाई टेन डेज 
द बेबीज वेट शुड रीगेन बैक टू नॉर्मल मतलब बैक टू थ्री के जीज आना चाहिए ओके सो हाउ मच परसेंट इज लॉस्ट फाइव टू टेन परसेंट वाई बिकॉज लॉस ऑफ फ्लूड लॉस ऑफ फ्लूड सो ये नॉर्मल है फॉर एवरी वन दैट इज वे दिस इज कॉल्ड एज वेट लॉस फिजियोलॉजिकल वेट लॉस ठीक है दिस इज कॉल्ड फिजियोलॉजिकल वेट लॉस सो अवर कैलकुलेशन वी विल टेक फ्रॉम डे टेन ठीक है डे टेन को Uh, the baby will attain back his three kgs. So again, we will take the calculations from day ten. Now, all of you, just concentrate. Don't come in, guys. Just concentrate here. Now, from day ten, from ten days, all the way till three months. From ten days, all the way till three months. How many days are there here? Eighty-two days, है ना? Eighty-two days. So during these eighty-two days, what will be the weight of the baby? During these eighty-two days, every day the baby's weight increases by thirty grams. Okay. So eighty-two days multiplied by thirty grams. Yes or no? So we will get the total weight of around two thousand four hundred grams. Okay. Is two thousand four hundred grams? Go already. The baby is carrying a weight of three kgs. Pehle. So you add three kgs. Now what will be the total weight, guys? Roughly around five thousand four hundred grams. It will increase roughly around five thousand four hundred grams. Sir, should I remember these calculations? Not needed. I'm slowly building up the concepts here. Okay, I will tell you what to remember, what not to remember. Okay, fine. But one important thing you need to know: in these eighty-two days, from ten days till three months, baby's weight increases by thirty grams every day. Okay. Now, ye dekho. From three months all the way, from three months all the way till six months. मतलब कितने दिन हो गए? Ninety days, है ना? Ninety days. So during the next ninety days, from three months to six months, every day the baby's weight increases by twenty grams, not thirty, twenty grams. So ninety into twenty, कितना हुआ? What is the value? Nine two zero eighteen, eighteen hundred grams. 1800 grams plus baby is already bearing some weight. Kitna 5400 hai na? So pura mila ke kitna hua? 7200 grams. ठीक है? अब ये देखो. Let us discuss another two calculations. From six months till nine months. और ये भी कितना हो गए? This is also again 90 days. This is also again 90 days. ठीक है? So during the Next three months, from six months and nine months, every day the baby's weight will increase by fifteen grams. Guys, can you uh, follow this chronology? First, for about eighty-two days, thirty grams per day. Uske baad twenty grams per day. Or up kitna fifteen grams per day. Okay. So, what will be the total value here? The total value will be around one thousand three hundred and fifty. Plus, or the first value, seven thousand two hundred grams. That would be around eight thousand nine hundred and fifty grams. I will take all the values as rough values, okay? And the final calculation we are doing today is nine months se lekar twelve months. Twelve months matlab kitna one year hai na? So every day, these ninety days, every day the baby's weight will increase by twelve grams. Thirty. 30 to 15, sorry, 30, 30 to 20, 20 to 15, 15 to 12. How much gap? Three, three months gap. Okay. So now the total weight is 1080 plus 8550. Okay, not nine. I think this is 8550 grams. So this will be around 9630 grams. Okay, so first thing you understood these calculations. I'm not telling you have to remember this. You understood or not? That is enough. Yeah, Pilot Saini, Fanmol, Baljinder, Yash Desai. You understood this? Now I will put on the formula here. Everyone understood, right? Very good, very good. अब ये देखो. Now important thing is, important thing is, at birth, 
एट बर्थ वॉट इज द वेट आई टोल यू थ्री के जीस है ना इस थ्री के जीस को ना वी विल राइट इट एज एक्स वी विल राइट इट एज एक्स नाउ वी शेल लुक हियर एट फाइव मंथस कितना होगा एट ट्वेल्व मंथस कितना होगा एट टू ईयर्स कितना होगा राइट थ्री ईयर्स फाइव ईयर्स सेवन ईयर्स एंड डाउन द लाइन टेन ईयर्स ओके नाउ लेट अस लुक एट दीज वैल्यूज राइट नाउ लुक हियर एट बर्थ एट बर्थ थ्री के जीस इट इज देयर नाउ एट फाइव मंथस कितना होगा गाइस ऑल ऑफ यू सी हियर एट बर्थ इफ द वेट इज थ्री के जीस राइट एट सिक्स मंथस ऑफ एज ये देखो लिजन केयरफुली नाउ एट सिक्स मंथस ऑफ एज द वेट इज सेवन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड नाउ आई एम आस्किंग एट फाइव मंथस फाइव मंथस मतलब वन मंथ माइनस वन मंथ माइनस मतलब फ्रॉम दिस सेवन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड ऑल्सो वन थाउजेंड माइनस करो वन थाउजेंड माइनस किया तो रफली इट इज अराउंड सिक्स के जीस रफली इट इज अराउंड सिक्स के जीस सो एट बर्थ इट इज थ्री के जीस एट फाइव मंथस इट इज सिक्स के जीस मतलब डबल हुआ कि नहीं ये सो नो डबल सो एट फाइव मंथस द वेट डबल्स इन द सेम वे लुक एट ट्वेल्व मंथस ट्वेल्व मंथस वेट कितना है नाइन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी मतलब रफली नाइन के जीस बर्थ इट इज थ्री के जीस एट वन ईयर और ट्वेल्व मंथस नाइन के जीस मतलब ट्रिपल हुआ so by 12 months the weight triples okay in the same way if you go down in the same way if you go down by 2 years of age four times hoga uske baad five times hoga uske baad six times hoga uske baad seven times hoga uske baad 10 times hoga right all of you understood this guys so by by remembering this table itself you can make your calculations if they are going to ask you any question in the exam all of you understood this Yeah, is this table easy? All of you understood this. Very good. Now, now what we shall do is that we shall check the formulas. We shall check the formulas now. Now look at the formulas now. How do you calculate based upon the formula? Now formula you have to only use once the weight, once the age of the baby is three and more than three months. Okay. So once the weight of the baby is not weight, the age of the baby is three or more than three months. From three months till twelve years of age, this is how you calculate the formula. अब ये देखो. First of all, let us write it down. फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रेट इज राइट इट डाउन नाउ थ्री मंथ्स से लेकर ट्वेल्व मंथ्स तक ओके देन ट्वेल्व मंथ्स मतलब वन ईयर सो वन ईयर से लेकर सिक्स इयर्स राइट अगेन सेवन इयर्स से लेकर ट्वेल्व इयर्स फ्रॉम सेवन इयर्स टिल ट्वेल्व इयर्स ओके नाउ हाउ टू रिमेंबर द फॉर्मुला रिमेंबर थ्री डिजिट्स वॉट आर दो थ्री डिजिट्स नाइनटी टू ट्वेंटी एट सेवेंटी फाइव ठीक है ऑल ऑफ यू से आफ्टर मी नाइनटी टू 2875. That is 92, 28 and 75. So what did I tell you? I told you to remember 92. Okay, 28. उसके बाद 75. And you know life is all about divisions, additions, subtractions. Yes or no? Life is all about divisions. Life is all about divisions, additions and subtractions. Clear? Now, what am I going to do with these values? So, always keep in mind the age here is in months. So, age in months, okay? Plus nine, nine I have to divide by two, है ना? Divided by two. ये है formula to know the expected weight, not accurate weight, expected weight at from three months till twelve months of age. ठीक है? उसके बाद, now you have to put the age in years, है ना? So age in years, है ना? Into two, two you add with eight plus eight, है ना? So this is the age you see in years. Next important thing, seven to twelve years. Age in years, age in years into seven. और मैंने क्या बोला था? Subtract it, है ना? 
minus 5 divided by 2. So, this is the formula which you uh, put to know the expected weight of a child between 7 to 12 years of age. All of you understood these three formulas? Everyone? Right? So, you apply in your home by yourself and look at these formulas. Okay? So, but till here all of you understood, right? Vipin Rajput, you understood? Uh, Sajda, you understood? Pushpalata? Pilot Saini, Yash, Baljinder, Baljinder, you are here. Doctor, here is your doctor. Radha Singh, all of you are understanding, guys. Very good, very good, very good. Right. Now, guys, here they go. First formula easy, hai na? second formula be easy, hai, but third formula is complicated. Hai. So, do you have any alternate formula? Alternate easy formula ek hai, that is age in years into 3 bus. Age in years into 3. If you put this formula between the age of 7 to 12 years, you will get the expected weight. Okay, expected weight. Now, we are done with the first parameter that is weight. Okay, weight ke baad hum discuss karenge stature. Stature matlab jahan pe we will have height and length. Okay, so the next important factor we shall be discussing is stature. So, stature is containing both length, stature is also containing both height, length as well as height. Now, what is length? Kya hai? What is the height? See, if the age of the baby is, if the age of the child is less than 2 years, right, the measurements what you do, that is length, that you have to call it as length. After 2 years onwards, the measurements what you do, that you have to call it as height, okay? So, length, when do you call it as length? If the child's age is less than 2 years, you should call it as length. If the child age is more than 2 years, more than 2 years, you should call it as height. I hope this thing you know. So, what do you use then? What do you use for less than 2 years? I check the length by using a special device that is called as infantometer infantometer okay next height how do i check by using a special device called stadiometer stadiometer stadio matlab kya the spelling itself says stadio standing you know you check the height by standing so when you're checking the height by standing obviously infants cannot stand so you check their height by placing them in a supine position Okay, I'll show you what is that now. Just look at this picture. Here they go. All of you can see. See here you will place the infant like this. Okay, this is called as infantometer. Infantometer. Okay, or uske baad, you see, this is how you, this is how you measure the length. And this is how you measure the height. And what is this? Anyone, what is this called as? Yes, 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 yes. Pratyusha, very good. So, this is called as stadiometer. This is called as stadiometer. So, all of you understood now? Yes? Regarding what is infantometer and what is stadiometer and how do you check both of them? Right. Now, uh, remember this guys, this is not that difficult like the previous one. The calculations are very simple. At birth, if you look at birth, at 1 year, at 2 years, at 2 to 12 years. Okay? Birth, uske baad, ek saal, do saal, do se, bara. Okay? Now, at birth, the height, uh, at birth, the length we call it as, right? The length of the baby is around 50 centimeters. Okay? By one year, the length of the baby is around 75 centimeters. By two years, the height of the baby increases by 86 to 87 centimeters. Uske baad, after that, from 2 to 12 years, every year the weight of the baby, uh, sorry, the height, the height of the baby increases by 6 centimeters every year. 6 centimeters every year. Okay? So, all of you are clear till here?
right so how do you remember this if you want to remember it like this remember but how i remembered is 5 6 5 6 7 8 this is how i remembered 5 6 5, five 6 matlab 50 okay 6 you can convert into 0 from 6 we have got the next number that is 7 7 ke baad kya hoga 8 okay so this is how i remembered if you have any other uh, desi tarikas you can remember by that way okay clear all of you or sir we want a formula that will be the best formula matlab expected height expected height in centimeters is ye dekho, i am telling height height means after two years right but this is the formula we use after four years of age okay so expected height in centimeters is age in centimeter into six plus 77 so by putting this formula by applying this formula you can know the expected height right at four years of age or at after the four years of age all of you are clear with this everyone Right. <clears throat> Very good. Now, next important thing I want to tell you here is that guys, next important thing I want to tell you here is about the teeth eruption. Teeth eruption. Okay? About the teeth eruption. All of you know that we have got two different types of teeth. Hai na? Ek hai, uh, temporary, ek hai permanent. Temporary teeth is called as a deciduous teeth. All of you know. We have got two different types of teeth. So one you call it as deciduous type. Right. And next one we call it as a permanent type. Deciduous as well as permanent. So what is this deciduous teeth and what is this permanent teeth? Okay. Now what is this deciduous teeth? Simple way to remember that in these deciduous teeth, you have to know at which age these deciduous teeth are erupting. In the same way, permanent teeth also. I'll give you a very good mnemonic for you to remember. For to remember deciduous teeth, remember as I am the chief minister, right? I am CM. CM matlab kya? Chief minister. And I hope all of you know the names of the teeth. I matlab kya? Incisors. C stands for canines. M stands for molars, right? So first I'm writing it as I. I matlab kya central incisors central incisors central incisors when I tell central incisors ye dekho, central incisors matlab lateral bhi hoga right so there is something called as lateral incisors also lateral incisors okay after lateral incisors next we have got M what is M? M stands for molars pehli bar aaya na M this is the first letter so, M stands for first molars. M came for the first time. So, first molars. Uske baad, next we have got C. C stands for canines. Canines. Uske baad, fir se we got M for the second time. So, second molars. Second molars. Okay. Second molars. Now, let us see. Let us see that at which age these deciduous teeth are erupting. Okay. Now, Central incisors, they erupt at the age of 6 to 8 months. Okay. Add 2 to the 8, it will become 10 months. Okay. Add 2 to the 10, it will become 12 months. Okay. Add 2 to the 12, it will become 15 months. Right. 2, 2 to 3, roughly, roughly I told 2, but just add 3. Okay. Now, from 15 months till 21 months, by in between this time the canines will erupt again from 21 months till 24 months these second molars will erupt all of you understood guys pilot signee very good 2123 by 2123 very good very good very good very good actually you are telling 
how many teeth are present but uh, i am actually here telling at which age they are erupting okay so on this you have to concentrate here okay 6 to 8 months do add karo 10 months add to 12 months add 2 to 3 15 months from ye dekho continue hua 15 se lekar 21 21 se lekar 24 okay so this is all the discussion which i am giving you on the deciduous teeth okay on the deciduous teeth now let us discuss about the permanent teeth ab ye dekho how do you remember the permanent teeth how do you remember that the permanent teeth is that for example in your home if your mother is ill right so obviously who cooks the food papa yes or no so mama is ill so papa can make the meal right so mama is ill papa can make the meal mama is ill okay so papa can make the meal papa can make the meal and take all the first letters here now you will tell me one by one m stands for kya what is m molars okay ye molar pehli bar aaya right now this is the first letter m we, which we have got in this permanent teeth so you call it as first molar i should call it as first molar okay after that i i also came first time i should call it as first incisor first incisors and after that you have got again incisors over here you know i came for the second time so you should call it as second incisor yes or no you should call it as a second incisor now after this if you look at the eruption here p p stands for premolar you know so first premolar papa is papa first premolar and then we have got the second premolar second premolar next can make the meal can c stands for canine e stands for canine and finally here they go second time we got m third time we got m so you should write it as second molar and third molar second molar and third molar all of you guys is it easy till here are you finding it difficult or is it easy guys are you understanding it right very good now we shall see now we shall see the age groups at which they are getting erupted okay we shall see the age groups they are getting erupted all of you know the numericals you know all of you know how to uh, number the numericals see first numerical is 6 years you know now start telling the numbers 6 ke baad kya hoga 7 then 8 then 9 then 10 then 11 then 12 right after 12 again 13 so let us write it now 6 years then 7 years then 8 years then 9 years uske baad 10 years okay and after that 11 to 12 years again 12 to 13 years the only thing is the last one that is third molar which erupts at an age of erupts at an age of 17 to 22 years this is also called as wisdom teeth hai na? this is also called as wisdom teeth wisdom teeth all of you got wisdom teeth you will get wisdom only then you will get the wisdom teeth you have got this wisdom teeth guys yes or no You got wisdom teeth. Yeah. No, not yet. Don't worry. Pray for God to get a wisdom teeth, then definitely you'll get it by morning. Okay. <laughs> Late comer. <laughs> right. Chalo. So we are done with the teeth eruption also the next important thing we shall discuss is the head and chest circumference head as well as chest circumference sir why are you discussing both of them together because they share similarities 
so head as well as chest circumference hai na so what i will do is that guys head circumference ko hc likhunga chest circumference ko cc likhunga theek hai how do you calculate head and chest circumference how do you calculate head circumference batao see all of you know that on the back here we have got occipital tubercle hai na piche you can palpate occipital tubercle from here this is called glabella hai na yahan se lekar you put the tape all the way till the glabella and again back to the occipital tubercle so whatever measurement you will get that is called as the head circumference so head circumference is you are calculating all the way from occipital tubercle occipital tubercle se lekar glabella tak till the glabella you call it as a uh, head circumference okay now important thing is that if you look at the chest circum we shall discuss uh, three things we shall discuss this entire discussion in three scenarios ek scenario at the time of birth ek scenario at one year or ek scenario after one year okay at the time of birth one year and after one year so at the time of birth at the time of birth kya hoga chest circumference is 31 to 30 sorry 31 to 32 centimeters and what is the head circumference just add plus 3 plus 3 centimeters add karo hai na when you add plus 3 centimeters 31 will become 34 next 32 will become 35 got it so chest circumference and head circumference okay 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 sachda i understood right so chest circumference and head circumference 31 to 32 just 3 add karo that will become the head circumference when this is at the time of what this is at the time of birth this is at the time of birth okay now what we shall do is we shall discuss at the time of one year i mean during the period of one year now at one year age at one year age what is going to happen what is going to happen is that the head circumference will be 45 to 46 cm and the chest circumference will be 45 to 46 cm now what do you mean by this what do you mean by this is that at one year the head circumference equals to chest circumference head circumference equals to chest circumference okay ab ye dekho after one year after one year what is going to happen <clears throat> after one year the chest circumference will be more than head circumference okay so even if you even if you don't remember the values also even if you remember this basic point basic point kya hai guys basic point ye hai ki at the time of birth chest circumference is less than head circumference at the time of birth at one year dono equal hai at one year more than one year chest circumference is more than head circumference clear all of you so all of them together in a box i'm writing birth one year after one year so here chest circumference is more than head circumference here chest circumference is less than head circumference here chest circumference is equivalent to head circumference i hope you understood this i hope all of you understood this right you're clear with this now let us go on to the next important thing that is upper segment lower segment ratio now this is very interesting guys very very interesting upper segment lower segment ratio the values are very easy to remember upper segment and lower segment ratio theek hai abhi ye kya hai upper segment kya hai lower segment kya hai अपर सेगमेंट मतलब यू नो दिस पार्ट ओवर हियर इज कॉल्ड वर्टेक्स है ना दिस पार्ट ओवर हियर इज कॉल्ड एज वर्टेक्स दिस पार्ट ओवर हियर इज कॉल्ड एज वर्टेक्स ऑल द वे फ्रॉम द वर्टेक्स टिल द प्यूबिक सिंफाइसिस ठीक है फ्रॉम द वर्टेक्स टिल प्यूबिक सिंफाइसिस दिस इज कॉल्ड अपर सेगमेंट प्यूबिक सिंफाइसिस से लेकर नीचे हील तक टू द हील दैट इज कॉल्ड लोअर सेगमेंट ठीक है this is called as lower segment so from vertex all the way till pubic symphysis 
इज कॉल्ड एज अपर सेगमेंट और प्यूबिक सिंफाइसिस से लेकर हील तक दिस इज कॉल्ड एज लोअर सेगमेंट सो दिस इज अपर सेगमेंट दिस इज कॉल्ड लोअर सेगमेंट ओके नाउ दीज वैल्यूज आर ऑल्सो इजी गाइज ठीक है वॉट यू डू इज दैट अपर सेगमेंट लोअर सेगमेंट दोनों का रेशियो यू विल टेक इट आउट ओके दिस दिस वैल्यूज आर वेरी इजी हाउ डू यू रिमेंबर दिस इज एट बर्थ ठीक है लेट एस स्टार्ट फ्रॉम बर्थ लेट एस स्टार्ट फ्रॉम बर्थ नो प्रॉब्लम नो प्रॉब्लम साइनी नो प्रॉब्लम टेक केयर सो एट द टाइम ऑफ बर्थ ठीक है आफ्टर द बर्थ नेक्स्ट वी हैव गॉट सिक्स मंथ्स ऑफ एज सिक्स मंथ्स देन वन year two years three years four years and seven years okay so let us see this now right now all of you look here at the time of birth what is the upper segment lower segment ratio if you remember this the remaining values are very easy at the time of birth it is 1 1 is to 1.7 very good very good very good uh, such the very good 1.7 is to 1 ठीक है अपर सेगमेंट का वैल्यू है 1.7 और लोअर सेगमेंट का वैल्यू है 1 नाउ ऑल ऑफ यू पुट द नंबर्स इन द डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर हाउ यू विल पुट द नंबर्स इन द डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर 1.7 के बाद क्या आएगा 1.6 उसके बाद 1.5 आफ्टर दैट यस 1.4 देन 1.3 देन 1.2 देन 1.1 ठीक है देन व्हाट अबाउट द लोअर सेगमेंट लोअर सेगमेंट इज ऑलवेज 1 I hope this is easy for you, right? So this is all you need to know about upper segment and lower segment. And the last part of today's topic we shall be discussing is arm span. Okay? Before I discuss arm span, just tell me all of you understood this till here. We discussed seventeen pages. Seventeen pages. The all of you understood everything which I have discussed. Perfectly. Everyone is clear, guys. obviously pushpalata uh, in dolicocephaly there will be the changes in the head circumference value i already have a video on craniosynostosis hai na wahan pe i told you i told about all the types of uh, um, the fusion disorders theek okay? hai so there i told dolicocephaly plagiocephaly everything all the different types of craniosynostosis i have told you and we have uploaded the video last night itself so just go to the section there right and you can see the first video itself that is craniosynostosis by a topic name craniosynostosis okay right so now we shall discuss about the arm span arm span okay sajda you understood that video you understood right you understood by watching that video राइट सो रिगार्डिंग दिस आर्म स्पैन वॉट इज आर्म स्पैन आर्म स्पैन मतलब देखो वॉट आई विल डू इज दैट आई विल स्ट्रेच माई हैंड आई नो यू कैन सी बोथ ऑफ माई हैंड्स है ना कैन यू सी बोथ ऑफ माई हैंड्स कैन यू सी द टिप्स ऑफ बोथ ऑफ माई हैंड्स नाउ लुक हियर ये देखो आर्म स्पैन मतलब टिप ऑफ दिस फिंगर है ना टिप ऑफ द मिडिल फिंगर फ्रॉम हियर इफ आई ड्रॉ ए लाइन ऑल द वे ऑल द वे टिल द टिप ऑफ दिस मिडिल फिंगर ये बीच में जो डिस्टेंस है ना वॉट एवर मेजरमेंट यू आर गेटिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड एज आर्म स्पैन सो आई शो इट टू यू इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए डायग्राम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए डायग्राम ऑल ऑफ यू लुक हियर इन दिस इमेज फ्रॉम द टिप ऑफ दिस फिंगर ओके फ्रॉम द टिप ऑफ दिस फिंगर ऑल द वे ऑल द वे ऑल द वे टिल द टिप ऑफ एन अदर फिंगर है ना दिस वॉट दिस लाइन वॉट एवर आई ड्रॉन हियर राइट दिस इज कॉल्ड एज आर्म स्पैन this one over here is called as arm span okay so we shall discuss the normal arm span values in three different scenarios okay what are those three different scenarios less than 5 years pe kitna hoga 
from 10 to 12 years how much will be the arm span after 10 years what will be the arm span okay now less than 5 years 10 to 12 years and after 10 years less than 5 years arm span is less than the height or length less than 5 years matlab 1 year bhi ho sakta hai na to 1 year you called as length only so what you basically do is that you calculate this arm span and you compare it with the vertical height hai na vertical height matlab you know all the way from the vertex down till the heel hai na you compare this vertical line with the horizontal line and see which is greater which is lesser so before 5 years arm span will be less than the height or length okay at 10 to 12 years of age kya hoga you can very easily uh, find it out now arm span kya hoga will be equal or more equal equal to height now tell me what do you is there arm span is more than this arm span is more than the height arm span is more than the height sir arm span more than the height matlab the horizontal length is more than the vertical length how much more 3 cm more 3 cm difference aayega okay if the arm span is more than 3 cm longer than the vertical it means there is some disorder okay there is some abnormality what are those abnormalities? We'll see. One example. One example here. All of you look here now. All of you look at the example. Here they go. Look at the horizontal line here, which I'm drawing now. Here they go. This horizontal line, which I'm drawing now all the way. You can uh, appreciate this line, guys. Yeah, this horizontal line. You can see the horizontal line is greater than the vertical line. So in this case, arm span is more than the height or arm span is less than the height. Now you will tell me, arm span, batao, more than the height or less than the height? Hai? More, very good. So here, the arm span is more than the height is more than the height and you know there are three scenarios where arm span is more than the height those scenarios are mkh now what does this mkh means m stands for marfan syndrome all of you know what is marfan syndrome right marfan's syndrome right you know marfan syndrome patients are at uh, marfan syndromes and ls danlos syndromes these patients are at a higher risk of getting aortic dissections because collagen disorder uh, diseases hai na? So, aortic dissections will most commonly happen in them. Right, whatever it is. Marfan syndrome, K stands for Klinefelter syndrome. K stands for Klinefelter syndrome. And H stands for Homocystinuria. Homocystinuria. In these three cases, arm span is greater than the height. Now, look at guys. All of you look here. Now, look at this. This is a uh, this is a horizontal line or a vertical line. Hai. Now tell me, arm span is more than height or less than height? Batao. Arm span here. What I find is arm span is less than the height. Arm span is less than the height. Very good. It is less than the height. You know, there are two cases where arm span is less than the height. One case, this is the case of achondroplasia. Achondroplasia. And the second important thing is cretinism. All of you know what is cretinism, right? You saw a patient of Marfan syndrome in the hospital, Sajda. Or outside on the road. In the hospital, you have seen. So, a chondroplasia and cretinism. You know what is cretinism, right? If sufficient during the childhood time, if sufficient amount of thyroxine is not supplied, then this condition you call it as cretinism. Okay. Very good, Akash. Akash answered correctly. Very good. Right. So, the last topic we shall be discussing is mid arm circumference, and then we shall close the session. Okay. So, the last topic is mid arm circumference. Very good guys. So through this entire session, what I felt is you guys have got very good basics. 
very good basics and very good thing right so what is mid arm circumference mid arm middle part of the arm yaha pe circumference ko measure karna this is called mid arm circumference why do you measure to know whether there is a normal development of the muscle or no okay to know the development of uh, what is the difference between height and length i already told you height is a term that is used after 2 years of age weight and length is a term that is used before 2 years of age okay right so in mid arm circumference let us see at birth what will be the mid arm circumference i will take a tape hai na tape leke i will uh, put this tape around my mid part of the arm and then i'll look at the measurement at the birth it would be around 9 to 11 cm okay now from 1 year all the way till 5 years it is constant 16 cm okay it is constant that is 16 cm what is a tape ye dekho ye hai tape you can see this tape right so in this tape is called as shakir tape shakir tape or shakir tape whatever it is shakir tape or shakir tape you use this very good sneha you use this to look at the mid upper arm circumference okay now all of you look at this this is a tape now guys in this tape can you find some very important readings over here very important readings readings kya hai see if you if you closely look here if you closely look here this is 12.5 hai na what is this value 12.5 so from all the way from 12.5 till the end hai na this is all the green zone green zone matlab there is normal development of the muscle the mid up the mid arm circumference is normal hai na next important thing yahan pe ye dekho this one is 11.5 this is 12.5 matlab what i can write here i can write that 11.5 se lekar 12.5 tak this is called as a low right this is called as a low line so the child is in the border line hai na next important thing anything below 11.5 okay anything below 11.5 the child falls in the red zone which means there is no proper nourishment severe malnourished children will lie below 11.5 well well nourished children will lie after 12.5 clear so let me write down the overall values less than 11.5 cm 11.5 se lekar 12.5 cm after 12.5 cm okay so less than 12.5 you call it as severely malnourished severely malnourished 11.5 se lekar 12.5 tak you call it as mild malnourishment mild malnourishment and this is normal theek okay? hai so all of you have to know now i will show you some pictures you will tell me ये सिवियरली माल नॉरिज है कि माइल्डली माल नॉरिज है और इज इट वेल ठीक है यू विल टेल मी नाउ ऑल ऑफ यू लुक एट दिस पिक्चर ओवर हियर ये पिक्चर देख के बताओ व्हाट इज द वैल्यू एंड व्हाट इज द स्टेटस ऑफ द चाइल्ड हियर दिखने में तो नॉर्मल है बट लुक एट द मिड अपर आर्म सर्कम फ्रेंड्स अब ये बताओ इज ई सिवियरली माल नॉरिस्ट और नॉर्मल यस कमॉन Very good. Severely malnourished. How 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 did you tell? Because the 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 value over here, the value over over here, here is less than 11.5 centimeters. Very good. Very good, Tanvi Patil. Very good, Yash. Sneha, very good. Now look at the second example. Ye dekho. Now look at this example. Very good, Sajda. Very good. This is also less than 11.5. That is somewhere around 8.5. है ना ये देखो 8.5 है value है ना. So again, this is also severely malnourished. ठीक है. So guys, uh, where is this? Yeah. So this is this is all for today. In the next live session, we shall discuss much more things. But guys, let me know that should I continue teaching pediatrics? 
right you want me to teach the same way or should you want me to change the way i teach tell me along with the basics everything in detail you want me to teach or fata fat i should go should i go fastly we will let you know yes we will let you know when is the next live yeah okay fine so all of you understood all the things which we discussed today guys each and every part whatever we have discussed today you have understood here love you too right fine guys so all of you all of you take care right and uh, those most of the students who haven't watched hai na so most of the students are like this to ja ke dekh le kaise bata rahe hai na uske baad main dekh lunga so for those students also you try sharing the video hai na uh try sharing the video and uh, let them know also that uh, we are teaching pediatrics and obviously the sleeping kid is already awake now where is the sleeping kid ये देखो स्लीपिंग किट इज ऑलरेडी एवेक है ना नाउ विल स्टार्ट क्राइंग बिफोर यू स्टार्ट क्राइंग इट इज बेटर दैट आई गो आउट ऑफ द लाइव है ना सो गुड बाय गाइस टेक केयर ऑल ऑफ यू एंड आई लव ऑल ऑफ यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर सपोर्ट फॉर बीइंग विद मी टिल दिस टाइम सो गुड बाय एंड टेक केयर एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू रिवाइज एंड आई शेयर द नोट्स इन द टेलीग्राम ग्रुप ऑल्सो गुड बाय